Is coffee good for you? How to know you are intoxicated? It is exciting to know. It's present in most households in the world and people drink it all day long to wake up or just for an energy post. Coffee is the second most valuable commodity in commercial terms and it's surpassed only by petroleum when it comes to worldwide transactions of business. But despite its popularity, consuming too much coffee can cause health problems, according to scientists. Caffeine is a natural occurring substance found in the leaves and seeds of many plants. Since it's considered to be a stimulating substance, it activates our central nerve system, raising the level of our alertness. This can be very good when we need to wake up at work after lunch. But did you know that it might be poisoning you? The effect of coffee lasts longer than we think and build on a top of each other. So, when we drink coffee, we can experience an anxiety or insomnia symptoms for up to 15 hours later. Do you know anyone who is a fan of coffee? Share this video with them. This is not a serious problem, but when we're trying to be as natural as possible, the symptom can be very unpleasant. Most people feel good after drinking coffee because it cheers and stimulates. But for others, this energy injection it's not at all pleasant. Caffeine can also interfere with our normal sleep cycles, disrupting our circadian rhythm. If you have any of these symptoms that we mentioned before, have tachycardia or still having trouble sleeping, then it's better to avoid coffee. If you really like the test, then there are great options that can test great without interfering with your health.